In this video, I'll be working an example for quiz four. I'll be doing the second example, the one for family dollar. And here are all of our assumptions. And so what we want to do is value the stock using three models. Capitalized earning model, the constant growth model, and the H model, and then value, value the bond. It's a 10-year bond issued two years ago, which means it's essentially a two-year bond. We ignore the fact that it was originally a 10-year bond. It only has two years ago because it was issued eight years ago. So essentially it's a two-year bond. So the first step we want to do is calculate our discount rates. So KD, the cost of debt, the value of your bond, will equal the risk-free rate plus a spread. In this case, since the bond is a two-year bond, we're going to use the two-year treasury as our risk-free rate. It's 2.5%, but make sure the rate is decimals, 0 0.025. And then our spread, again, it's a two-year bond. So we're going to use a spread for two-year bonds with this particular rating. Um, and in this case, that's 40 basis points. So if you take 40 divided by 10,000, you get 0 0.004. So we're going to add 0 0.004. And we do that, we get a discount rate of 0 0.029. But remember, these bonds pay twice a year, and that 2.9% discount rate assumes they pay once a year. So we need to get the effective yield. The effective yield will equal 1 plus the KD, 0 0.029. We divide that by 2. We then take that whole sum of all of that, and raise it to the second power, minus one, and you should always get a number slightly higher than the KE. Um, the higher the KD, the bigger the difference will be, but it will never be more than just a few basis points. So in this case, it's point z 0 0.0292, and you really don't need to go out more than that many decimal places. So 2.92%. That's the discount rate for the bond for the stock. The discount rate is the risk-free rate plus the market risk premium times the beta. In this case, for stocks, we use the 10-year treasury as the risk-free rate, so 0 0.041. And we're going to add the market risk premium. The market risk premium is the same thing as the equity risk premium. Remember, I switched between MRP and ERP, but they're the same number. That's 4.5%, 0.045. And then what we're going to do <coughs> is multiply that by their beta. This is family dollar, so its beta should be pretty low because it is a discount store. So we'll multiply their beta of 0.7 by all of that. When you do that, you should get 0 0.0725. So that gives you your discount rate for the stocks. And so what we need to do now is step two is price the security. So we've got our discount rates, 0 0.0292 for the bond and 0 0.0725 for the stock. So let's use those two numbers and let's actually price the bond first. To price the bond, we need to put time The next column put the cash flow. The next column put the discount factor. And the next column put the discounted cash flow. And the sum of the discounted flat cash flow will be our, our value of our bonds. Since we have two years left and bonds pay every six months, our, our timing will be in six months, in one year, in one and a half years, and in two years. What is our cash flow? Well, if you look at the bond, it's a bond with a coupon of 6%. That coupon of 6% is going to tell us what our cash flow is. So the cash flow will be 0 .06, 0 0.06 times $1,000 divided by 2. Remember, we assume a bond is $1,000 when we're doing the pricing. And so when we do that, we'll get a cash flow of 
in six months, another $30 in a year, another $30 in a year and a half, and then at the very end, we get our $1,000 back plus that last coupon. So you should have 30, 30, 30, and then 1,030. Our discount factor for the first, first one will be one divided by one plus 0 0.0292. And we raise that to the 0.5 which is our time. We've done this several times before. So one divided by that and you should get a discount factor of 0.9857. For the next year you raise it to the, I mean for the next cash flow you raise it to the first power. So you should get 0.9716. For the next cash flow you raise it to the 1.5. So you should get 0.9577. And then the very last one, you raise it to the second power, you should get 0 0.9440. And then this kind of cash flow is just the $30 times the discount factor. And that gives you 29.57, gives you 29.15, 28.73, and 972.36. When you take the sum of all of that, it equals 1,059.81. Notice that it's greater than 1,000, and that makes sense because our coupon, 0 0.06, is greater than our discount rate, 0 0.029. And anytime the coupon is greater than discount rate, we, we, sh we will get something greater than $1,000. In the second video, I'll do the pricing for the stocks. So there's the pricing for the bonds.